Hey everyone and welcome back. Today's video is the Finish 7 by Fall finale. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sharice and uh, basically I picked out seven items to finish by the beginning of fall. So I usually go with skincare type items, um, body type products. So I will just go through them fairly quickly. I will put either, as I'm talking about the product, what the price is if I finished it, um, like somewhere up here, or I'll just do a total at the end of the combined uh, products that I finished. So the first item was the Estee Water Sparkling Clean Oil Control Foaming Gel Cleanser. I have not finished this. This is still, I mean, it's a heavy bottle, so it's hard for me to gauge like how much is in there, but it's still coming out, so I'm probably, I would say maybe halfway done. But I started out with a full bottle, so yeah, I will um, probably keep going with this. But I'm not fin I haven't finished it yet. So that is the first item. I really I love this stuff. I say that you know my other updates. I just I like the way it foams or you know um, it lathers up. It just has a nice scent. It doesn't burn my eyes. Um, so I really am. Um, I really like this uh, cleanser. So that is the update for that. The second item was the Estee Lauder Sparkling Clean Mattifying Oil Control Lotion. And here are my little marks. So I started over here. This was my first update. I have literally, as you can see, a dot. Like a little, little dot left. This will be gone in, well, tonight and tomorrow. This will be gone by tomorrow. So I'm calling this done. Because, like I said, I use this twice a day in the morning and at night unless I'm doing like a mask but other than that uh, I use this twice a day so this will be done and I'm trying to see if it has a price and here it doesn't have the price I love this toner like I said I like it more during the springtime and the summer because it does I feel like dry out my face a little bit more so I do like this for the spring and summer but I mean I would use this all year round I just like try changing my products out but this is a definite, you know, purchase again. Actually, I have a backup of both these products. So that one I am done with. The second, or the third item, sorry, was the L'Oreal Revitalift Concentrated Serum. And it looks like this. And I already had finished this in my last update. And Candy, if you're watching, you had asked me um, if it was like the triple power or if it was a triple serum. And when it, on the front of it, it doesn't say it, but I happen to be reading the back of it. And it does say Revitalift Triple Power. So if, this, if that's the one that you were talking about, then this is it. For me, I just didn't like this. Um, I like the other Youth Code. Is it the Youth Code product? But it's a serum. I like it much better than this. This was like a backup that I had. I had purchased two of them. I will not repurchase this again, but it is all complete. The fourth item is the MAC Oil Control Lotion. Here are my little markings. So I started out here. This is my first update, and this is where I am now. Um, yeah, I haven't finished it yet. I only use this during the morning time. This works great for mattifying my face. It does the best job out of all the lotions I have tried. So I do have a backup of this and I will always repurchase this unless I find something else better. But it really does. It's a very light cream. And like I said, it just goes on really nice. It sinks into my skin and it does dry, you know, it just it mattifies my face. So it's not as slick and oily. Obviously my skin does get that way within a couple of hours, but this makes it less, or this keeps me mattified the longest than any other lotion I have tried. And I really believe it's because it's a combination of these three products. But So I haven't finished this, almost done, but I can't include that in the little finished pile. All right, the fifth item was the Makeup Forever Sensa Eyes, and this was a makeup remover. So here, I think I started, yeah, I started with a full bottle. This was my first update, and this is where I am. No, that's not true. Scratch that, I'm sorry. This is where I started. This is my first update, and as you can see, I have literally a dot left. So I am calling this finished because this will be gone in, hmm, It'll probably be gone in like three days. I can't pump it anymore, so I gotta take it out and put it in my hand. So I don't know, there's only a little bit left. I would say probably three nights worth, um, and I should be done. So I am gonna call this, you know, done as far, I'm still gonna finish it, but I'll just call it done for like 
tallying the um, the dollar amounts and all that. I did like it. I actually was using something else and then I got a sample of this and I really did enjoy it and then I went to buying the full size of it. But then I came across, I think it's the Marcel um, and I really like that one better. This does work really good. It does though, I mean which is funny because it says sense eyes, but it does it does sting my eyes a little bit and I consider myself pretty like where I can tolerate a lot of things like my skin doesn't get irritated, my eyes don't really get irritated, I don't have like sensitive skin or anything like that. So for me, for it to irritate my eyes, if I get it in my eyes, then that's saying a lot for me because I really normally don't get that way. So I would not repurchase this um, even though it does work really good. It's just, the thing is if you don't get it in your eyes, it's great, it works great, but if you get it like underneath your lashes when you're like rubbing it in, it does start stinging a little bit. And I like that Marcel one, and there's another one, I think the Bobbi Brown one too, I like better. I just don't know how much those two cost. But I probably won't repurchase this one again because I found two other ones that I really liked. But we're calling that one done. And for the sixth item, it was a perfume, it was a CK1 Summer. And this is where I started. This was my first update and it's completely gone. I really like the smell. I wanted to get this done because, not because I didn't like it, but because it's one of my older perfumes and I wanted to obviously just get through it, you know, before our fall and winter come along. I didn't want to carry it around till uh, next spring. I really do like it. I mean, it was something I probably would maybe repurchase again, but later on down the road, like I said, I still have a ton more perfumes to go through, so it's nothing I would be repurchasing soon, but it is a very pretty spring and summer uh, scent, so yeah. So that's done. The seventh item was the Glam Glow, what is this, the Super Mud uh, Mask. And I started with, I think it was pretty much a full drawer, I think I maybe used it once before, but it is all gone. These, these masks are very expensive, the Glam Glow ones. They do work good and I do like them. I like this one because when you put it on it starts drying out. It shows you like all of the stuff that's pulling from your face. So although it looks nasty, you're like wow, your skin's like just really getting clean. It takes it all like the, just all the toxins and the, the garbage out of your face. Um, but this is pricey. I know that like Ipsy, I think it's Ipsy or Birchbox, they, you know, sent, I have a couple of samples or del is it deluxe, I think it's deluxe size samples. Um, from the other Glam Glows that I have gotten. And I would say if you can get a sample or deluxe size, go with that because it does last you quite a while and everything. And it's just, this is just so pricey. Like just for the price of it, I probably would see if I could just get another deluxe size sample or a sample instead of buying this whole thing because it is a lot of money and stuff. And I don't think it does anything, as much as I do enjoy it, I don't think it does anything like just out of this world where cheaper um, masks do. Does that make any sense? I hope it makes sense. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, so that is that. Now I did, I added in three like little bonus items and what it was, it was a kit that I got from a, uh, the Sephora holiday sale that they had last year and it was the Soap and Glory set. And so it came with a shower gel, hand cream, and a body butter. So the shower gel, I'm all done. I started here. This was my first update, and I'm all done. I don't like this one. I would never repurchase it. The smell is really nice. No, it smells really nice and everything like that, but it took a lot um, of product to really lather up. And like I say all the time, I have a thing with... Bubbles, lathering, foaming, I need to have a lot to know that I'm like getting clean. So this just wasn't enough lather for me. Like I said, it, had, it took a lot to put on my loofer, or my little, you know, puffy thing, um, to get a big lather going. And so I just, uh, I just didn't care for it. So it's not something that I would repurchase again. But it is done. The second bonus item was the Hand Food Hydrating Cream. And this was in... Let's see, I don't know if it's like a specific scent. Hmm, uh, it doesn't really have a scent, but anyway. This was a 1.69 ounce tube. I cut it to get every last little bit out. I really did like this. I use this at night time. It's a nice thick cream. It just absorbs into your skin really nice, but it doesn't leave it greasy. 
So it is a good product, but uh, this is. Let me first talk about this one. We'll put this to the side for right now. The last item was the Righteous Butter, and I just actually finished this today, so this is all gone. The same thing. This was a nice thick cream. You guys know I like like body butters. I like body creams. I just like the the thick creams versus like the lotion, the thinner type lotions. That's just my preference. I just like that. Um, so my thought with this is these two really did remind me a lot of one another. Not that I use the hand for my body, but it was like sort of the same consistency. So I would say that if you were wanting to get like the hand food and try also the body cream, I would just get the body cream because to me they really were, like I said, they mean the same smell. They were sort of the same consistency to me. I really couldn't tell the difference because I would put this on my legs and then I would put this on my hands. And so I'm like, I'd be rubbing it and I'm like, oh, my, almost really like the same thing. So I don't think you need both. I mean, if you are looking for just a hand cream, then just get this. But if you're looking for something that does both, like something that, a hand cream, but you want something for your body too, then just buy this and use it for both, uh, you know, for your whole body and for your hands. So, I mean, and the only benefit I would say is if you keep one in your purse and you want to keep this, then obviously buy it to keep in your purse. But I usually only put my hand creams on at night. So, that is my thought on that. But I love the smell. I would repurchase the body, uh, the body cream. I really liked it. And like I said, I like anything that's really thick and, you know, it didn't leave me greasy. You know, it took me a little bit to rub it in my legs and get it in there, but that's fine. I don't mind. As long as it doesn't leave me, like, greasy feeling. And uh, it was just nice and hydrating, nice and moisturizing. And I, like I said, I really love the smell. My husband really loved the scent of this too. Um, so I would repurchase this one. So, yeah, so that is that. So out of seven, we'll say ten items, I finished eight. So eight out of ten items is very, very good. So I'm happy with that. And like I said, the last two products that are left over, they're stuff that I will continue to use. Um, and if I want to take a break from it and go to a different, you know, um, skincare routine, then uh, that's fine because I love these products. So these are my go-to products, you know, that I really like that I'll keep repurchasing. So I'm not upset that I have these two left. So that's, I'm fine with that. So I will put, like I said, the amount somewhere. If I haven't done it throughout the video, I'll put the total amount here so you can see how I did on this um challenge and or this project and i'll also put a total from the other two projects as well so that is it i enjoyed doing this project i like i said i love doing the skincare and body care type items because for the other projects i really just stay focused on makeup so this allows me to really focus in on like perfumes body care i mean we still have to start incorporating hair care but i really don't do a lot with my hair but i do have hair products i have to get through so um, I, hopefully I'll maybe start incorporating those. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a finish seven by winter. I don't know yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or if I'm going to hop along the um, finish nine by new year. So we'll see. But be on the lookout for either one of those because I want to continue on doing a project that's incorporating the skin stuff, the skin care. And uh, I think that is it. I hope you guys are all doing well in your projects. And if you're doing the 5x4 or the Project 9 or Finish 9, I'm sorry, um, let me know so I can hop over to your channel and check you out. And uh, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.